Hi, it's Richie with SonicDad.com, here to bring you another preview of the project that will be coming out next week. So this next project was inspired by a toy that my parents gave me as a kid. I really liked it. It was a little plastic soccer ball that was split in half, had a little tether, a string on it, and a parachute inside. And the idea was you would swing it around up into the air, and as it got toward the, the apex, it was supposed to open and the parachute come out. It was pretty neat, but never really functioned that well. So I always thought it would be fun to try to improve on that design and come up with a Sonic Dad project like that. So project number 51 is the Sonic Parachute Ball. It's going to be a skill level five and about a two hour build. It's made from a plastic training baseball, some cable ties, a shoelace, a kite string or crochet thread, and a plastic tablecloth. So I have here uh, some of the prototypes that I used to develop this project. Of course, this is a plastic baseball cut in half. Um, experimented with a lot of different hinge designs. Um, discovered that the, the hinge was critical in uh, getting this project to work well. The aerodynamic forces that act on the ball to open it are, are very light. So uh, the hinge design is very critical. So. Uh, experimented with uh, hole diameters and hinge diameters that are made out of the cable ties to get that right. Also played with a lot of different methods um, to deploy the main parachute. Uh, this chute is made out of plastic tablecloth that you can get at the dollar store and either kite string or crochet thread for the shroud lines. So this is a drogue ribbon that I played with on a couple of different designs. Worked fairly well, but not as reliably as I wanted. So I ended up going with a drogue parachute to, to deploy the main chute. And uh, that gave me uh, very good reliability. This drogue chute is about six inches. I ended up scaling that down to four. So here is the final version of Project 51, the Sonic Parachute Ball. The tether is made from a shoelace. You can see it wrapped through the hinges here. So the way I like to swing it in the air, you can, you can swing it around and let it go at the top. I'm not quite that coordinated. I like to uh, just swing it back a little bit, swing it forward. When it reaches about the top, um, let go of the shoelace. If you really put some heat into it, you can get this ball to fly maybe, I don't know, 50, 60 feet in the air. So on the way up, um, the tether actually keeps the ball oriented because of the drag, kind of like a kite tail. So as it's flying upward, the drag on each side of the ball begins to open it like this. And the first thing that happens is this little drogue is deployed and it pulls out the main chute, which uh, deploys and brings your sonic parachute ball gently back to earth, ready for another flight. So, I think it turned out really well. It's a lot of fun. If you pack the shoot correctly, I'm getting probably 95% or better um, deployment, which I think is really good for a toy like this. So uh, it's a lot of fun. I had a blast developing this project and uh, getting it to work. I hope you enjoyed building it. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our videos, and like us on Facebook. We appreciate it. So until next time, I'm Richie with SonicDad.com. Now it's your turn to go make something cool.